All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to a game between Colorful versus Infi taking place here on Terranus Stand. Over here on what I will call the top left-hand side of the map, we have Infi spawning as the blue human. Over here on the bottom right, we have Colorful spawning as the red night elf. Night elf versus human in this 1v1 matchup. I am expecting to see well Keeper of the Grove going up against an Archmage. Um, goes to show you intelligence does matter stay in school and well at least until you learn the basics there are other skills out there that need well skills you know what why am i even bothering to talk about this what is this some after school special is that what happens when you get older you you start to do after school specials for your children yeah Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down here. We are going to be getting an Archmage out of here in just a moment. At least, I believe so. Footman um, waiting for that second farm. There it goes. And we may be looking at an Arcane Tower even right here. That is a very forward position, though. So the Keeper of the Grove should be able to easily, easily attack it down. However, those Ents will have a difficult time trying to get inside. It takes a little bit more micro to get them into the right spot. Meanwhile, Ancient of War looks as though it's going to be clearing out the Forest Troll High Priest Creep Camp instead as the Keeper of the Grove now gets Your trained up. Is it is a bl Blood Mage first. All right, Blood Mage going up against the Keeper of the Grove. I guess Siphon Mana can be a very, very good friend. Um, a Banish, probably not so much. So maybe Flame Strike? I, I'm a little I bit curious it. as to this particular build. I don't know if it is a counter pick Our it, for the Keeper of the Grove that has just become so common as of late or something else. Now, I do wish that the Blood Mage... Um, well, I wish that the Blood Mage <coughs> was uh, was a, a better primary hero. The Blood Mage Flame Strike does do a lot of damage. You can uh, AOE down a lot as well. Let's take a look at this. Gonna go ahead and try and engage right there. There's Lightning Shield. The Blood Mage is gonna go ahead and get surrounded by multiple units while he is getting healed. All right, Blood Mage gonna purposely shift back down once more. Still dealing damage to multiple units there. Are we gonna see an Abolish Magic? Yeah, remove uh, that very, very important Lightning Shield and also that Frost Armor. As you can see, damage is going to be dealt, finishing off all of those units. You can also take a look. The use of that Lightning Shield, very effective as the Blood Mage gets to level 2. Now, this may be a particular strategy that only works on this map. Normally, the Blood Mage has a difficult time trying to actually creep. Um, with the use of that Lightning Shield, he got to level 2 much more quickly than I would have thought. As the Ancient of War now backs away, gonna go ahead, eat some trees, perhaps root himself and start to train up some more units as well. Blood Mage picks up double Slippers of Agility. If, if you could imagine if both of those were actually mantles of intelligence, how powerful and strong this particular opening would be. Plus six additional damage, more mana on top of all of that. As we're going to look at the Blood Mage now make its way through. All right, there's the Flame Strike. And that Flame Strike going to eat through many of those Our units already. Siphon Mana now removing much of that mana as well. You're going to take a look at the Forest Troll High Priest pretty much out of the fight already no more mana to really do much of anything he could siphon mana back into the into this forest troll shadow priest in order to get more hip excuse me more mana there blood mage also picks up a talisman of evasion and with level two flame strike i'm curious as to how effective this harassment can really be the blood mage already at level three and this is well before the four minute mark the flame strike does deal ling lingering damage if the units stay on top of it, but that is a little bit of the downside as well. Let's take a look at this. Blood Mage is going to try and sell some items. What is it going to do right here? There, there's that the Flame end. Strike. There's the engagement. So many units just standing right in that position. That Forest Troll Shadow Priest pretty much never stood a chance as the Forest Trolls now taking a lot of damage just, well, nope, just outside of the range of that, well, AOE damage. Meanwhile, Blood Mage is going to finish things off here, pick up some more items, drop some items there. There's a Wand of Illusion as we're looking at the Forest Troll now heading back. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove with Archers. You pretty much have seen this army nine times before. 
or 99 times before you know what's going to be happening as the Keeper of the Grove. Oh, are we going to see some Siphon Mana right there? Keeper of the Grove now trying to get away. Let's take a look at this. Wand of Illusions all over the place. And this is actually going to make for a very, very well strange spot. Let's take a look at this. Ents now joining in on the fight here. That is just an illusion as well. That is the real deal. And that is going to be quickly, quickly discovered. Forest Troll, Shadow Priest. Oh, Siphon Mana away. Keeper of the Grove unable to summon down any additional units. This is going to be incredibly important. Forest Troll, Shadow Priest are going to go ahead and get some Abolished Magic in. As you can take a look, we might see some more. Yes, Siphon Mana once again. Blood Mage. Oh, Keeper of the Grove now trying to back off here. Keeper of the Grove low on mana. Forced to retreat. Nicely done. I must say that Blood Mage shutting down mana from his opponent while also stealing some mana from the Forest Troll Shadow Priest forced that unit to back off. And this expansion is going to be established. Now, following this up though, we are looking at Colorful entangling his own gold mine. So all of that, and you are just economically equal to your opponent. Infi now using this Blood Mage. What's going to happen down across over here? Are we going to see? Yes, we are going to be looking at a bit of Siphon mana right there. Dark Wizard losing a lot of mana. Meanwhile, let's take a look. The Assassins are going to get taken down. Have to be very, very careful though. More Siphon mana as well as we are also looking at, well, uh, summoning additional units. All right, Dark Wizard could end up getting taken down. Siphon more mana again. You need to get some healing onto this unit right there. Trying to back it away. The Talisman of Evasion actually cut, uh, working a bit over time as you're going to see a low hit point footman is going to back off in time. Let's take a look at this. Low hit point footman is now looking to back up. Squirrel of Town Portal. What is happening over here? It is going to be a little bit of harassment. More units coming across and that's going to be some easy damage. Let's take a look. Low hit point footman now trying to get away. That footman will end up getting taken down. Blood Mage now chasing after units and oh, let's take a look at that. The Forest Troll Shadow Priest taking a lot more damage as it tries to just simply run through a bunch of units there. Now, the Blood Mage does have a good amount of mana still. And with the intelligence-based heroes, I was not wrong, Blood Mage is intelligent-based. Um, it is a battle of the wits, but the Keeper of the Grove just doesn't have enough mana to really do all that much. All right, Forest Troll Berserker go heading all the way to the back here, uh, constantly trying to move across with all, uh, multiple units. However, the Archers dealing a lot of damage, as you can take a look. Forest Troll Berserker also going to get taken down, trying to get more healing, more units trying to get away again, as we're looking at the Keeper of the Grove now seeing that level 4. Siphon Mana. Keeper of the Grove looks like it will be able to head back. More units getting taken down. No Brilliance Aura, no Archmage, not even a second hero as of yet, as the Keeper of the Grove wonders what it wants for its second or uh, for its other ability. All right, there goes a Forest Troll Shadow Priest hiring up units from that mercenary camp using your extra gold. And right now, Infi is in a curious spot. We are getting up the Arcane Vault. We are nearing Tier 2. Meanwhile, his opponent is already at Tree of Ages. Keeper of the Grove going to go ahead and drop uh, some Circlets of Nobility, down. heal back up, pick those all back up. He needs to get an Ancient of Wonders in order to get these Moonwells back up to full. He is currently low. Our sacred grove is All right, back down across over here. Take a look. Ogre Mauler joining in on the fight. More damage coming across here. Blood Mage. Oh, there's a more detonation uh, again. More damage being absorbed. Meanwhile, Arcane Tower can do a little bit of piercing damage back. Who is going to actually, well, balk first? That is the question. All right, more healing getting underway. Tree of Life taking a lot of damage. Meanwhile, well, the majority of this damage here is actually all piercing. So the buildings are in not that big of a danger as of yet. All right, there's Staff of Teleportation. The Tree of Life will end up getting taken down. Demon Hunter is back out onto the field as well. The Demon Hunter could start easily mana burning. There's a Squirrel Town Portal heading back out. And there you go. You're going to go ahead and try and engage here. All right. Ogre Mauler in position. We are looking at Mud Golems casting slow. We should be getting some, well, we should be getting some Abolished Magic coming back the other way as well as the Blood Mage gets a big Flame Strike, takes down two units, finishes off a third, a third unit as well as the Keeper of the Grove is in a little bit of trouble. Now, he doesn't want to force a fight into the corner here. Blood Mage nearing level, five, or level six, and this is going to be interesting here. There's the Abolished Magic. There is that Mana Burn, Mana, uh, mana Draining out the Demon Hunter, a little bit of a, a curious maneuver there as the Demon Hunter will, should be able to mana burn back, but Blood Mage is at level 5. Are we going to see a Flame Strike 
coming across here anytime soon as the Blood Mage gets a big flame strike there. Units just trying to simply walk into the party are going to end up finding themselves in a difficult spot. Blood Mage does have a potion of greater healing. Is he going to try to turn around and fight back? Let's take a look at this. He could try to use the Scroll of Regeneration. No Clarity Potion. Guard Towers are right here. And here you go. A bit of an engagement here. Ogre Maulers in the back getting regenerated as well. Let's take a look. Demon Hunter Potion of Greater Healing being used there as the Ogre Mauler could end up getting taken down. Level 2 there. Dryad's going to get taken down as well, but no experience really being given. And oh, what is this? The Demon Hunter could end up getting taken down. Yes, Demon Hunter taken down. Blood Mage now at level 6. And now, with a Phoenix in play, the Phoenix is the ultimate annoying unit. The Phoenix is able to pretty much... Um, constantly harass, deal damage, and come back and do more. The perfect split army unit. Is it going to actually make its way down across over here? Yes, it is. Going after the Tree of Life right here. And, well, it will end up getting resurrected. Meanwhile, back across here, Arcane Tower um, losing a lot of mana right there. Are we going to perhaps see some Siphon Mana? Forest Roll, Shadow Priest, and a little bit of trouble. There you go. Keeper of the Grove being forced to retreat now as it is taking a lot of damage. Forest Roll, Shadow Priest trying to get away. Meanwhile, back across over here, there goes one building, and you uproot yourself against a magic damage unit, and you wonder why you lose that unit. All right, horrible, horrible loss there. More Siphon Mana, Keeper of the Grove out of the fight again. And this is looking like the perfect counter once more. Let's take a look. Are we going to see, yes, another Dryad getting taken down? 29 supply compared to 47. 48. What is going on here? Um, all a little bit crazy. We can see a larger army down over here. 48 supply. Where is, it? Where is his army? Where are all of these units? Why are they all so spread apart? 34 supply compared to 48. Let's take a look. This is now gone. Where is that Phoenix? Phoenix could be once again on the move to try and take down some more units as well. Blood Mage. Is it going to... Well, Taskmaster. There's the Cobalt Geomancer. You want to siphon mana away from that as much as possible. Dealing damage there. You could get in another another flame strike there as you're going to take a look. The, the Phoenix and could take a little bit of damage. More siphon mana away again. Cobalt Taskmaster taking so much damage. Will end up getting taken down. Keeper of the Grove, oh, sorry, Blood Mage, now picking up a belt of giant strength for a little bit more, uh, well, a little bit more hit points. All right, where is this Blood Mage going to go next? Squirrel of Town Portal, Dryads, Mass Dryads. Meanwhile, Mortar Teams now trying to get added into here as well. Paladin out onto the field, Holy Lights, that, um, that Blood Mage, and now all of a sudden, the Blood Mage is at a very, very big threat. His biggest downside before was his hit points, and he had no way of easily staying alive. The Blood Mage now also dropping that Belt of Giant Strength, getting healed, and then picking it back up. Very, very good Our use right there. Engaged. Demon Hunter seeing that level 2. Keeper of the Grove seeing that level 4. Units are once again on the run. Blood Mage has been using um, or has been getting a lot of mileage out of that Phoenix Egg. That resurrection is so, so important. As we're going to look now, Keeper of the Grove wants to get to level 5. Paladin now making its way across here. Blood Mage has an Orb of Fire. Going to be adding in a little bit more damage as well. Has to be very careful though as the Orb of... Well, Blood Mage now being forced to back up again. Blood Mage should not be really auto-attacking all that much. We need to find a way to get a front line for Infi. Otherwise, Infi is going to be in a lot of trouble. All right, Blood Phoenix now making its rounds off over here. There's a Tome of Experience. Tome of Experience being left behind. Uh, though, both of that getting taken down. Why is that? Oh, it's going to go to the Paladin. Paladin's going to go ahead and pick that up. Wants to get to level 2 as the Phoenix now makes its way over here. Demon Hunter with an Ankh of Reincarnation. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 5. Mortar teams and militia making their way out again. Let's take a look. The main base, the Dryad army, not going to really be able to deal all that much damage. Research finished. Meanwhile, a handful of Our mortar teams and that paladin is really going to start really do a number here. All right, let's take a look at this. Um, taking down a Tree of Life before it really gets up into play. Meanwhile, back over here trying to trade Research. bases. And um, finally taking that down here as we could see a call to arms. Mortar team getting finished off. Meanwhile, back across here. Mortar team's going to take down some more units again. Paladin going to join in on the fight. Only two mortar teams here, and that is it. As the peasants are still working away, even though there's a massive fight getting underway here. All right, flame strike. More and more damage being dealt. Mortar teams could try and engage. Blood Mage is right here as well. What are we going to have? 
flare and then just doing massive damage. All of those dryads in such a tight spot. So much death. Keeper of the Grove gets an entangle off. Phoenix is out currently just trying to eat as much as it possibly can. Staff of Sanctuary saves as the Keeper of the Grove anti-magic shell. All right. There is another flame site coming across. Entangle causing a bit of problems as the Keeper of the Grove well, tries to stay alive here. We're trying to holy light that unit. Is it going to really work out? Mortar team finishing off unit after unit. There goes a mortar team there as the Keeper of the Grove down to 113 hit points. All right, Dryad's now making their way through. Let's take a look. Mountain Giant could perhaps be able to get in some taunts. There goes a Dryad right there. Blood Mage will be forced to try and retreat back here as the Troll Shadow Priest could have a little bit of problem. Are we going to perhaps see a holy light onto the Forest Troll Shadow Priest? In order to save it, uh, no, I don't believe so. It, I believe it's going to get taken down. Squirrel of Town Portal a little bit late right there. Uh, Holy Light the Phoenix out. to try to get it to s survive and live and fight another day. Dryads also over here. Expansion was built over here to the top right. Dryads hid off to the north. And really, Colorful is doing a great job saving units. That's the reason why he is still in this game right now. He is saving units. Meanwhile, back across over here, the castle is once again mining away. Down across here, there is about five minutes left of mining. We are only 15 minutes into this game. And it feels like it's been absolutely a long game with really no clear victor as of yet. The Blood Mage is at level 6, almost at level 7. 34 supply though compared to 55. How is Infi getting such a large economic advantage to have the larger armory? Or is he just saving things a little bit better? All right, Dryads are all right here. Mortar teams could try and engage. Let's take a look at this. Trying and engage. Oh, Dryads could get taken down. Oh, Flame Strike finishing off many of those ends before much damage could be done. Mortar team is going to go ahead and be saved. Going to teleport away. And where are they going to go ahead and try and fight back here? As you can see, uh, more healing once again. All right, was that Scroll of Regeneration or a Staff of Sanctuary? Not quite sure. Paladin sitting at level 2, almost at level 3 now. And level 3 Paladin, well, 400 hit point burst heals would become a problem. Demon Hunter does have an Orb of Venom, though. Let's take a look at this. Mortar Team's going to try and finish off the Dryads. Dryads could end up getting taken down. We could see a Holy Light. Nope, yes, there it is. And the Demon Hunter, Ankh of Reincarnation, Flame Strike, Mountain Giant, going to get taken down. Paladin up to level 3. Holy Light onto a Mortar Team into the far back there. There is that Resurrection again. Trying to fit, phone it, focus down some of those units. The Phoenix now down to 140, 136 hit points. Finally gets taken down. It is going to stay an egg for at least a little while. There's the Flame Strike. Is it going to be enough to save any of those units? No, it is not. Blood Mage could easily resummon that um, that Phoenix, though, and in just a moment's notice. All right, trying to fight in this really, really tight corridor is a bit of a problem. Blood Mage could resurrect that Phoenix here in just a moment as well. Let's take a look. More units getting taken down. Mortar Team is trying to finish off the Mountain Giant. Mountain Giant with really nowhere to run as the Keeper of the Grove ventures forth only to get shooed away once more. 34 supply compared to 57 now. Um, finally, Infi looks like he is on the smaller side of that army. He pressed forth a little bit too much. The Mountain Giants, really the, the downside there. Once you invest in that many Mountain Giants, when you lose one or two Mountain Giants, the, your overall Research. supply drops dramatic, uh, dramatically, dramatically, dramatically. 39 supply compared to 60. We're now looking at um, what we are now looking at colorful going into... Your build. Druids of the Claw. Uh, excuse me. Allergy season is upon us. Meanwhile, Blood Mage. No no clarity potion. Devotion aura on the Paladin. Mortar Team's Knights are out onto the field as well. Paladin may want to try and get to level 3. The Phoenix is right there as well. There is a Flame Strike. Multiple damage being dealt straight across the board as the Paladin is in that frontline spot. Mountain King joins it on the fight. Paladin says, or Blood Mage says, you know what? I'm level 7. No point for me to be in this fight whatsoever. Mountain King is going to be able to get in some big storm bolts as well. And that may well catch the Keeper of the Grove off guard. Infi. Oh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. Siphon Mana, Keeper of the Grove. Storm bolted. Unable. Losing a whole bunch of mana unable to even entangle and so much mana lost in a moment all right we're looking at the phoenix looking to finish off that dark wizard dark wizard will get taken down there it goes item is going to be a wand of mana stealing 
as though you needed more ways to steal mana from your opponent. All right, Egg, going to go ahead and turn our Phoenix Egg. going to stay right there. Going to be able to rehatch itself once more. Meanwhile, let's take a look. Flame Strike, uh, aggroing a whole bunch of those assassins in the back. Staff of Sanctuary, um, I believe it's Staff of Sanctuary, the Blood Mage. Blood Mage just needed to get out of that spot right there. Let's take a look. Wand of the Wind. What's going to end up happening? Wand of the Wind now on the Mountain King. You can easily Cyclone. There's some flares as well. Militia being called in over and now being backed away. Colorful. Um, looking to perhaps try and figure out the next fight, the next engagement that he'll have favorable footing. Meanwhile, off to the north here, a tree of life trying to be built when there is already an expansion here. Mortar teams getting in some damage. Keeper of the Grove using Staff of Teleportation in order to get away. Phoenix may be able to get in some damage onto this tree of life. We're going to be looking at an expansion down over here to the bottom left. Every gold mine now has a base being constructed or a base mining or both as the Keeper of the Grove makes its way over to try and finish off some of these units here. All right, Mortar Team's going to be able to finish off this tree of life and that is going to be it, I folks. Uh, be it, folks. This gold mine is going to be done. The army size is just going to become far too much, especially with your opponent having a phoenix going into bears may actually be like one of the worst decisions that you can have as the bears well are already weak and countered to a summoned unit thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it